Now most western states have mountain lion seasons. Some allow hounds, some don't, but they still all believe that there needs to be management in mountain lion densities, mountain lion populations. Cleve, he's seen this firsthand, not only as an outfitter, but he's worked on a lot of ranches, worked in ranch country all his life. So let's hear what he has to say about mountain lion management in the West. Well, Mark, that's a pretty good question, um, considering that uh, mountain lions do kill, on average, anywhere from one deer every seven to ten days. A female with yearlings can kill up to two, two deer per week. So if, if not kept in check, mountain lions can really, really hammer them. Mule deer population, elk population, bighorn sheep populations. So uh, they do need to be kept in check. And myself, I'm, I'm crazy about mountain lions. If, if the, they didn't exist, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing this right now. But they do need to be uh, kept in check. For example, in California, you can no longer hunt mountain lions there since early 90s. And they're overrun with them. They attack people. They slaughter people's livestock. They've decimated the deer population in California. So California is a pretty prime example of mismanagement instead of proper management of mountain lions. And uh, so if, if we want to have mule deer populations in the future and elk populations, mountain lions definitely need to be managed and uh, be kept in check. And I'm not saying that they need to be all slaughtered and just killed automatically. And, they don't, they don't need that, but they do need to be checked every year. Their populations need to be constantly being in check because the mountain lions deserve that. You know, If they get overpopulated, they eat themselves out of house and home, and no mountain lion deserves to starve to death. Now, you can believe what Cleve said there or not. That's your opinion. But I have seen it in the field. While we've been hunting the last few days, we've seen several very distinctive kill sites that had mountain lion written all over them. Let's go to one right now, show you live from the field. So we're riding along in this brush and Cleve finds a uh, mountain lion kill. So how old do you think this is Cleve? Oh I'd say a couple months, probably a couple months old. Uh, apparently this mountain lion it killed this deer off in the brush someplace on this hillside and probably stashed the stashed the kill and fed on it and ate most most all of it. Something else dragged the, the horns out of the brush out in here to this little clearing here and at the time right now we the dogs are trailing a mountain lion track that's maybe two days old. They're probably not gonna catch that one, but uh they can get a little bit of scent where the shade has preserved the scent. And, and it's nice and cool, so they, they're they hitting scent, but uh, they're, we're probably too far behind that lion. So when number lion numbers are high, obviously, these these lions can be hard on deer, and especially, you know, a deer like that could have been a trophy class deer in a year or two, probably. Yeah, more than likely, it could have uh, could have turned into a real nice one. And, uh, yeah, a, a female and a, a kitten, or a female and a yearling or two, in a week's time can kill two deer in a week, and a tom will typically kill... A deer every seven to ten days so yeah they can they can wreak havoc on a mule deer population pretty quick all right well let's get back after one of these cats so uh we don't have to look at any more of these dead deer